What's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Revex to this video and today I've got for you the Gloomwing Advanced. So I just tested this and I'm able to do this in 15 turns. That's the mission. So the Brave Shift form, she has 400% fire resistance. I know you can do 300% and then another 100 or however much you need, but we're just going to go 400% to make it a lot easier for ourselves. So what we're using, some MP Refresh with Pure Lotus. Full status immunity, although it doesn't, I mean, after the first turn, doesn't matter too much because we'll be using uh, effective strategy anyways. So, yep. Emperor has, I'm just trying to make him a little more interesting, more creative, but I don't know if any of this stuff is actually going to be used because my trial run, I didn't use any of this stuff, but I'll see how that goes. He's just here for his SLB, nothing much else. Sylvie in the, in the Brave Shift form and the base form are literally the same build, except for a Shine Mermaid, but doesn't really mean anything it's fine either way and so she's gonna need to put the provoker so that she can counter with her normal attack that would give her back mp and hp which is gonna be very helpful in the in the, in the some of the, some of these turns here and my and my esther who has uh mp recovery and 3 percent insect killer you might be wondering hey we don't have any wind imbue on this team or we have no way of doing wind I can see you're going for wind. This is where the Craftsman Secret Book and the Brave Shift form comes into play. It's very seamless. It allows, based on variants, hopefully we get some good variants in this run here. But based on uh, turn rotations and things, we should be able to get them in because they last for five turns. So every 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 five turns after it lasts, or I guess technically every turn after five turns, we have to shift over and do it again. But it's not a big deal. I was able to do it. So anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so first of all, we're going to shift them both. And by the way, the Craftsman Secret Book is a 4 star TMR. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have had it by now just by just fusing, like doing the auto fuse. I'm sure you at least have one by now. This account has four. So, yeah. So, we're going to use both of these. Emperor is just going to use his Glimpse ability, that ability there. And she's going to use her Brave Shift LB right away. Because it lasts for three turns. And make sure not to use Practice Lure. As long as you're using Effective Strategy, though, all the other abilities don't really matter too much. I mean, of course you want to cover. But the last move is just kind of up to whatever you feel like doing. So we're going to be drained a lot and stuff, and it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. A few times bolting strike and all bolting slice and then the calling for the storm emperor can go ahead and let's see what this does oh it's a regen that's fine i'm fine with a regen okay so we'll be going ahead and using the beaten insect we can use one of this and I don't think anything, actually, I don't really need anything else. We could just do two of this. The damage won't be very high. That's all right. Is SLB there. We're going to shift into our base form and we're going to use Paladin's Resolve, Passionate Knight, and also Bridging Defense. Now we're ready to use rest or both of our LBs. Sadly, since we don't have any wind amps, uh, the damage will be a little bit lower, but not much I can do about that with the strategy. Now she is berserk, so no, you have no more access to any of her kit, but that's all right.
Because the stat the step off should be actually no it's not well actually hold on no I don't know how long the step off is gonna last. I don't know. So maybe you just don't do it. I well hold on how how long does this last? And I think we should probably do because that step buffs are gonna go away soon. I didn't do this in my original rotation. I think that might be another reason why my damage is not as high. I didn't keep the stat buffs up, but I think we should be fine. And a lot of it is just keeping the same, same rotations here. As long as you're not using practice lure because we don't want we don't want uh, Maeve to be uh, berserking. Now if you're using C Celeste, you could have her be a provoker if you'd like. And let's check our status here. We still have one turn for Wind Imbue, so we need to take it. Um, he's still Wind Imbued, as you can see. Well, you might not be thinking our damage is really that impressive, but it kind of is. With Keep in mind, this is without a win in view, guys. That's without a win in view. Actually pretty impressive. Pretty damaging turn, but we're fine. It was fine. So... The turns are up, like I mentioned. We're gonna go ahead and do Windy Bellows again. It's one turn, it's like one of one a few turns where we're not doing any damage, but that's fine. And we are going to. How much does this last? Two turns? I don't, think, I don't think we're taking very much physical damage, but I'll just put it on anyways. Well, that sucks. But now Sylvie's back. Sadly, she's going to be very busy. Not going to have very much time for much else. In my, in my trial run, by the way, the S, they, they both died anyways, but... Alright. Now we'll shift back over and then we gotta wait for our MP to come in. Like waiting for a paycheck to come in. Okay. We'll do the SLB here. Not very much damage, but that's fine. I'm gonna shift back. Remember she got KO'd and reapply everything. We don't get berserked again, we could use our Brave Shift LB, which we're able to. This should be an increase in damage. Pretty good damage, I must say. We have the insect killer back again, but I don't really have, no, we don't really have access to their LBs that easily, so. I think we'll go ahead and do this instead. Not that. We should have two more turns on the wind and view. Yep. Oh, 
Not that bad. Could be worse. No, she's berserked again, but that's all right. Yeah, the SLB is this turn as well. And we still have a huge stat buff. We're actually cutting this in half. If we can pull this off, we're actually, we're, well, it's going to be turn 12, which is better than my turn 15. Well, let's look at her. I don't want to screw this up. We have four turns in cover, we're fine. It's like the perfect like strategy too because Sylvie will bring back me if she gets KO'd anyways, so she doesn't even lose a turn. This is it's it's phenomenal how good Sylvie is in this trial. She has insect killer too. I feel like that I feel like a large portion of what her kit does is because of this trial. I'm pretty confident on that. But when you bellows again. Go ahead and put this up just because we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to get... I don't know if we're going to be able to get uh, her... their LBs up ready already. Actually, it might be turn 13. Sadly. Unless this does enough damage, but I kind of doubt that. That's a lot of damage that we'd be dealing. We have a stat buff. We actually do. Two percent. Oh well, turn thirteen. That's it's still two turns less. That's still two turns less than my previous. That's my actual official. This is my official run technically, but my trial run was actually turn fifteen. So I'm fine with that. Two turns less. Variance is a key factor. I'm pretty sure, but that's all right. Alright, there we go. Pretty easy with this team. Of course, if you have Freyva, you could go the Ice route instead. Since I had um, Emperor EX3 from the Shard Dungeon, I figured I wanted to go the Wind route instead. And this is a little more creative with the, the Craftsman book and everything. I think that's pretty creative. It's fine. All missions are done, guys. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Let me know when your clears down below in the comment section. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.